Hi guys, so today this video is going to be just a little bit different than what I normally post, but something that really needs to be talked about. Um, as you all know that I had um, a baby and I am 11 months postpartum as of today. And um, I exclusively breastfeed. I have been exclusively breastfeeding for 11 months. It has been a journey and it has been tough and there when you look on Instagram Pinterest YouTube there's a lot of glitz and glamour when it comes to pregnancy and having a baby and breastfeeding and all this other stuff like that you see all these women with a whole closet full of not necessarily closet full but like big deep freezers and refrigerators and freezers and freezers of milk sitting here with my little box or barely getting anything out like I'm pumping or whatever so what the heck is wrong with me or I'm having problems trying to get my baby to latch or I'm having problems breastfeeding where I'm in pain I have been there I have done a lot of research and I really didn't have the outside help as a lot of other moms do and um, I spoke with a lot of other moms who were in the same boat as me. So <clears throat> really this video is just for you to, I want to help you and give you the information that I have to help you successfully breastfeed. When I started out breastfeeding um, in the hospital, everything was good um, from what they tell me. They showed me how to do it. I thought I had it all down packed. I tried to ask the nurses every time am i doing it right am i doing it right because when i get home i don't want to end up having problems i was very sore um i had a c-section so i couldn't do a lot of moving around and then about my third or fourth day my milk started to come in i was gorgeous pain it was just it was really hard but i stuck with it because i knew this is something that i wanted to do so long story short once i got home things really started to to go good but then I started noticing changes of my um, breastfeeding um, my breast really started to be really very very sore which is natural when you're starting out breastfeeding but it seemed to be more sore than when it was in the hospital and the pain got worse um, my nipples started to crack and to bleed and I knew right then and there that something was not right so his latch I felt he would latch on and suck for dear life but the way he was latching had not could not be right because if it was i would be in so much pain <clears throat> i would really dread breastfeeding because i was in um so much pain i would really dread it and i would cry and because you know my husband didn't really understand what i was going through he tried to help me but you really just need that womanly help sometimes like your husband and significant others try to help but you really need a woman to actually really understand what you're going through could really help you so i was by myself um he was at work <clears throat> and i got tired of crying i got tired of being scared of being breast of breastfeeding because it was so painful and my nipples really didn't have time to heal because the newborn they're on you two to three hours i couldn't pump because i just couldn't stand any extra pulling on me so um i actually just looked on youtube i started i calmed down and i looked on youtube how to latch and i seen how wide the baby mouth was and they were just like, oh, you have to take your nipple and rub it from the nose down to the mouth. When the mouth is open wide, pop it in. It should not hurt breastfeeding. So I'm like, but I'm in pain. I have a situation going on, so I really don't know how this is going to work with me. But I did it. I did not wait till he was really hungry or fussy. I just took him when he was calm so I could practice. And I took him and put him on me and took his, my nipple on his nose and just 
slightly gently down his lip and he opened up really wide and I just put it in there. And despite me being cracked, despite the soreness and the non-healing, that went away like that. And then the light bulb went off like that's what I, the heck I was doing wrong. And I was so proud of myself in that moment because that was a success for me. That was a milestone for me that I accomplished myself. And that's how we did it. I never had no more problems um, then on. And then once I got that out the way, I was seeing other moms, oh, I can pump this many in a day. I could pump this many in an hour. I could pump this many, you know, and it's just like, well, I just have this. I'm really making it and I'm not making enough. And I don't know what I'm making and getting enough. And I don't know what I'm doing. It was just um, <laughs> a whole new journey of a mess. So <clears throat> my husband will always tell me like, are you kidding me? You're fine, you're fine. And I'm like, no, you know what? You don't understand how I feel. Like, no, but it's something's not right. And he was right all along. There was nothing wrong with me. And I think that these pictures and these women, like, you know, more power to you. You can, you know, pump up a whole dairy storage or whatever. You know, you're just 100% cow. Go for it, mama, you know, but I'm not. But <clears throat> one thing that I did learn don't compare yourself to others. It's easily said than done. Especially when you go through it and your mind's already sat there. It's easily said than done, trust me. But do not compare yourself to others. Matter of fact, don't look at any other women with, so don't, don't look at it, don't compare yourself because you will do that. Um, really just look at, is your baby handy weight? Is your baby um, calm? And I seen that they have the fist test. Their fist clenches when they're hungry. And as you feed them, and as they're satisfied, they start to let go. So use that as a measure too, because sometimes we feel like, oh no, 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 he needs more. But if your baby's actually satisfied, and it's okay if he wants more and more and more, and we tend to forget that most times that babies aren't always hungry, Sometimes they're just on us for comfort. They're on us for self, for soothing themselves. And they're on us for bonding, you know? We are the first things that are in contact, that is a home that's familiar. So they're going to be more attached. Breastfeeding is more demanding. You were always number one on their list of who they want. Um, I did use a pacifier. Um, by the time I got home, I did not use a pacifier. Um, at the hospital, but I did. Um, it did not um, mess up uh, the, the suction or confuse him. I did not use a bottle though, but I always use myself and a pacifier once I got home. And um, it's okay if you don't pump a lot. It's okay if you only pump at one more on one breast than the other. It's okay. It's okay. It can be normal, and you can fix it. It's simple as that. You can you can fix it to a to a degree, but we have to know. Just like every child is different, every body learns different. Everybody's on a different level and a different pace. So is your body. But your baby's telling your body what to make anyway, not what you saw somebody else on YouTube or Instagram pump out. So. Your body's going to make what your, what your baby needs. Now, if you want to make extra for a stash, I did try Mrs. Patel. Did it help me, honestly? Yes, it did. It did help boost up a little bit, but don't get me wrong. I did not use this product and I was pumping like 20 bottles in a session or in a day. No, that's not realistic to me for my journey. I did not do that, but it helped more than what I was what I was getting. I did see ounces of difference with me using it, with me not. But also remember, how are you eating? How are you eating can change that. Um, if you're on your menstrual cycle, that it can drop. Um, if you're eating like crap, it can drop. You're not drinking enough water, it can drop. 
So once you got all that into a flow, okay, then you can really look at, okay, well, I have a problem with my blood supply. Is your baby gaining weight? Are those thighs getting fat? Are these babies getting rolled? You know what I mean? Are you, when you breastfeed your baby, just like, oh, forget it. You know, I, he's not even, he's just crying the whole time because you have nothing. Those are things that we have to look at and not really criticize that stuff because we are super hard on ourselves and willing to say we failed when actually we did. We just need some time to really get it together and we need support, honestly. Um, <clears throat> if you are breastfeeding, or you were, or you had a baby and you still have milk and you, you just, your body's just, your baby, your milk might be low, you need to re reintroduce that. I will have the name of exactly what I'm looking for in the description box down below, so please check it. Um, you're, they have this thing that you pour milk into, or formula into and it's a little tube and you take it and you put it around your neck and you uh, tape the tube part to your nipple and put your baby on. Now I do not recommend having a bottle for your baby because when you breastfeed your milk comes in and it's slow. It takes a little bit and then you get a let down and then your milk comes in. Now with a bottle, they just suck and it comes down. Your baby can't get used to that and quit. So you want them to know that you have to wait for it to come in because once they get used to it, that will really make it super, super hard for them to get back used to you. So, but you can use that to help reestablish breastfeeding, to relactate yourself and to get that bond back. So I do recommend for moms that are having that issue to try that. I have tried it before. It has worked for me before when I was having issues and I had to stop and I still had some milk left and I wanted to reintroduce breastfeeding again once I got that situated. I did try that with my last son. So it did work for me and that's why I'm saying you can try it and it may work for you too. Um, <clears throat> CMOS. Uh, organic, sorry guys, my eyes are before I got allergy. Um, organic seed moss has is super good. Um, get some of that. Try don't try Similac. Try that because that has ninety percent of the body's uh, vitamins and minerals that you need, and you can use that instead of instead of the Similac and stuff that has the ingredients that really isn't all that good for your child, and um, it's natural and it's from Mother Earth and it doesn't have sugar in it and all that other crap in it. You know exactly what it is. You know it's organic. Um, I will leave a link in the description bar where I get mine from. And I, you can also check Amazon, but there's a big thing now going on where there, there's fake sea moss, which is really sad. But if you're breastfeeding too, you should also be uh, drinking sea moss. So, to help with the nutrients of your baby. Um, I think we really need support for all our mothers with breastfeeding. Um, I'm so passionate about this. This journey has not been easy. Uh, there come new journeys with breastfeeding all the time, from teething to the biting and all that. I'll be doing another series too on breastfeeding, but um, if you guys have any extra tips for me, please leave it in the description, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear them. Um, if you have any other ideas, tips, advice for other mamas, please leave it in the comments so other women who read it can also get in on it because at the end of the day, we're all mamas. We're all trying to accomplish one goal. And that is to nourish our baby and feed our baby the best way we know how. And to accomplish that, we need support. You cannot do this alone. You cannot do this by yourself. This is not easy, but you just have to realize what you was created for, what your body was created for. And you can do this. You can absolutely do this. So please support one another. 
and love one another and give advice and i thank you all again if you have any questions or any other topics that you would like me to cover please let me know in the comments and leave your advice and tips for other mamas in the comments too and so i'll make another video i will see you guys later god bless